Well, good morning, little darlings. What is it that I have here in my hand this morning? This is my strawberry low carb breakfast shake. Mm -mm. It is delicious. So I got lots and lots of requests for some keto recipes, maybe some videos. Um, so I decided to go ahead and start with one of my staples. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a low carb smoothie. I'm hesitant to call it keto. While everything in there is keto friendly, it's lower carb. I'm not really sure what qualifies as like a true keto smoothie, but um, I will go over all of the ingredients in just a minute. But for this whole smoothie in my little coffee mug, um, it is 13.8 total net carbs, um, which, you know, I guess it depends on how strict you're being with your carb count. So I know I've mentioned in other videos, I guess I probably qualify more as a lazy keto person because I don't count my or track my macros. I'm not really <laughs> counting how many carbs I'm having per day, but I know a lot of really strict keto people try to keep their carbs less than 20 uh, grams per day. So this being 13.8, is a little bit on the higher side, I guess, in terms of if you're a really strict keto person. Now, I like to do this smoothie on days that either, like today for instance, it is Monday morning and it is right around 11 o'clock right now. So I did not eat a formal breakfast. So this is really gonna count as my breakfast and my lunch. Um, so I'll do it on days like today, or I'll do it on days that I know that I'm going to be exercising and going to the gym. So, um, I, at least for me, and I can only say for me, uh, in those instances, this smoothie works really, really well. And it is delicious. Now, I will lay down a disclaimer that if you are expecting a smoothie that is like, oh, so sweet, just like the other smoothies, it's really not. It is... A strawberry smoothie so obviously it tastes like strawberries but it is really rather tart which I like tart things um, so kind of at the end once I'm done going over the recipe with you guys I can talk about some ways that you might consider um, sweetening it up a little bit if that's something that you feel like you need to do so um, obviously it's a strawberry smoothie so the base is strawberries um, I do most of my grocery shopping at Aldi's here in the United States. Um, and I think that Aldi's, actually I think, I think Aldi's might be all over the place, but whatever, you can get, get your stuff wherever you want to. So um, I use frozen strawberries. Now for my specific recipe, I use a total of 100 grams of strawberries. And for the kind that I purchase and the size that they are, that works out to be nine strawberries. So nine frozen strawberries. I add in about a third of a cup of just plain Greek yogurt. Make sure it's plain and not flavored uh, with anything um, because all of the flavored ones have tons of sugar. So plain Greek yogurt. I do two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I do about two thirds of a cup of plain, um, actually not plain, it's not plain at all. It's vanilla unsweetened almond milk. Now you could also use regular milk if that's what you would like to do. I don't really know. I mean, I can't really drink regular milk because it gives me a lot of GI problems, but I just prefer almond milk. I love almond milk. So vanilla unsweetened almond milk, about two thirds of a cup. And I do, half of an avocado, which is the secret to the smoothie. It is great because obviously avocados are very, very healthy. They have, I think for half an avocado, it has 15 total carbs, but it has 13 grams of fiber, which gives it a uh, two net carb value, which is 
amazing. So 13 grams of fiber, that's a lot of fiber. So aside from it just being healthy, it gives the smoothie an amazing texture. It almost gives it the texture of like a milkshake maybe. It's just very smooth and creamy and delicious. Um, and then the last thing that I like to do, I like to add two tablespoons of um, sugar-free vanilla coffee creamer. Now I also buy this at Aldi's um, and it is at least important to me, it is sweetened with sucralose and not aspartame. So two tablespoons of that, blend it all up and then you get this delicious smoothie. And it is really good, especially when you're getting in a breakfast rut like I kind of had been. Um, I, you know, eating basically scrambled eggs every single day. <laughs> um, and I love scrambled eggs, but <clears throat> it can get to be a bit much. Um, so yeah, that is the recipe. It is delicious for me, at least in my opinion. Um, so some other ways that you might be able to sweeten it up a little bit. So, um, if you're just kind of going maybe more low carb and not exactly keto, you know, you can sweeten things with honey. Um, I don't do that because it's not really keto. Honey does have a lot of carbohydrates in it. Um, but if that's not something that you're super, super concerned about, then by all means use a little bit of honey. I have not tried this. I'm not really sure how well this would work, but there are lots of different kinds of low carb sweeteners like stevia. Um, I also have some xylitol. It really just kind of looks like sugar. It's essentially a sugar alcohol, I believe. Um, I'm not really sure how well those things would work. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the flavor that stevia gives things. So I'm kind of of the mindset to just kind of uh, accept it for how it is and uh, just kind of like get my taste buds acclimated to a palate that's not quite as sweet, but that's just me. Um, so this is my first little food video. Probably could use some tweaking, but I'm sure I'll get better at it as things go along. So thanks for watching this morning and I hope everyone has a really good week. Bye.